Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of middleweight action between Sugar Ray Leonard and Sugar Ray Robinson. Leonard's on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Sugar Ray Robinson's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Well, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent, blinding ability, just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed, you know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. Sugar Ray Leonard has so many strengths as a fighter. Is there a weakness? Look, everybody has a kryptonite. You know, I, I mean, even Superman, you know, he, I mean, has something that you could get to. Not too many with Sugar Ray Leonard, but if there was one, and I'm nitpicking a little bit, sometimes keeps his hands a little low. You know, he depends on that sense of anticipation. He's got good technique, great, great speed. But with the hands down, if you get lucky enough, or if you get good enough to time him, every once in a while with that left hand low, you can time him clean, time him with the right hand. Sugar Ray Leonard's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Robinson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Don't fight me, fight. Jab and move. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take know. these shots, okay? You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Stop. Don't stop. You gotta keep working. You can get ahead, but you gotta get Here we go. Round two is underway. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Come on, kid. Focus. Paul right jab, then the left hand. Gets rid of that body shot. Side to side. Flush right hand to the body. Scoring well with that combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Good step back, counter punch. 
punch there. Beautiful. Blocks away that head shot. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it. He never knew it was coming. Look at how wide open he was for that hook. Sugar. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down from the uppercut. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leonard's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. You know, it's a new day and age, but people should really reflect on the celebrity of Sugar Ray Leonard. There was a long time period in this country where he was undoubtedly one of the biggest superstars, not just in sports, but in all mainstream pop culture. Yeah, he was. First of all, he had that great smile. He was doing endorsements. He was doing soda commercials. You know, and I think what's interesting about that is that he proved himself to the people. At first, they thought he was just this golden boy, this guy, you know, the sugar man. And he had all this great talent. But then, after the first Durant fight, he showed everybody that he could roll his sleeves up, you know, that he could get down and dirty, that he could be just a regular guy, a guy that you could count on, not just a guy that was privileged with great talent. Sugar Ray Leonard's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. Nicely timed one, two. Nice strike after catching one by Sugar Ray Leonard. Robinson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. What an excellent two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Able to dismiss it. Through the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Robinson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Little head knocking with that right hand. Leonard's combination punching is working well here. Good step back counter punch. Go down again. Nice, nice. Good job on the two punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. 
see how he comes over the top with that 